Ring that subscribe bell. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you haven't been before. My name is Watto, I wander about. This is Kim, say hello Kim. Hello Kim. Today we're having a wander around a little village called Cockington. We need to see whether it's one of the prettiest villages in Devon. So we'll find out and take you along with us. Let's go. Cockington dates back from around about two and a half thousand years ago, the Iron Age, because apparently there is evidence of hill forts either end of the valley, which is points to the fact that it is Iron Age in origin. Without a care in the world, I was one rich little girl. Oh, it's certainly very pretty so far. It's quite early. We like to get here early so we don't get swamped by all the crowds. Um, it is quite an old village. First documented in the 10th century. So going right back there. Apparently owned by Alric the Saxon before other people took over, of course. And we're just going to walk up into the country park, as they call it now, towards the Cockington Court itself. There's a cricket pitch on the grounds now, which originally was a medieval deer park. This is a very peaceful walk up through the grounds at the moment. Like I said, we did get here quite early because believe me, it does get very, very busy. But at the moment, it's beautiful. First thing you come across are these lovely lakes. It's a little series of them. Very peaceful. I don't know if you can see there, but all you anglers out there, carp just sat on the top, warming up in the morning sun. It's a magnificent example of the gunnera plants. 40 or 50 different types of these found across the world. It likes the damp soil next to water, so here by the lakes is uh, perfect for it. Huh? It's fantastic, look at the size of them, huge. Just look at the carp sat there. Hopefully you guys can see on this camera Makes me want to get me rod out. If that doesn't sound wrong. Well, you'll be alright if it rains, won't you? <laughs> Just made our way up to the second pond. Nice little family of ducks and more carp, if you can see them. Decent size. A bit more weed in this one. One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidding and me Take me back, all the way back to Just up to the third lake, all fed by a spring This is where they kind of think that Cockington gets its name as Village by the Springs in old language something along those lines more of these gunners look huge <laughs> Make our way up the paths. Lots of different trails and paths you can walk up and down. No idea where this is going, but we're just going to walk up it anyway. Just enjoying the peacefulness. Something quite romantic about walking up through these little paths under these tunnels, under the bridges. Very nice. 
this young lady walking up the path here look meet all sorts of dodgy looking characters around here Come up through them trails and we're up the top of the towards the court now known as Cockington Court which is the main mansion house and like I said earlier on this would have been a deer park it's 420 acres or so it would have been a, a medieval deer park where they would have hunted deer I'm assuming venison for the table it just makes for a beautiful setting today an example of an old millstone there look Oh, you can see in the middle there is what now is the cricket ground with the pavilion up there. The cricket started being played here after the war, as cricket pitches go. It's quite a nice setting, but not an overly big boundary, I wouldn't imagine. But you can see behind me, there's if I do a 360, you've got the cricket pitch down there, and then obviously all the way round this full 420 acres goes on up behind us as well. But we're going to head up this way and have a look at the mansion house Cockington Court which was the mansion house itself I'm led to believe there's some craft places around here as well that we can come and have a look at so we're going to check it out originally built in the 16th century it still remains the focal point of Cockington although it's been renovated a few times over the years they've got to do it in such a way where they've got to keep the original feel of it of course which is good we're just going to have a walk around the side of it and see what's about Come out around the side, you've got a stable yard. Craft studios, right? Let's have a look, see what this is about. Hmm. Lots of little workshops you can walk around. Really interesting. People with proper skill making things. It's good to see in my book, very good to see. The blacksmith. Morning. 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 Cooled off a little bit, started right. Gonna get up. Keep cool for you. All the tools of the blacksmith there. Everything made by the blacksmith himself. Brilliant. little courtyard area you've got every type of media you could think of glass wood slate metal all being worked by skilled craftsmen and women it's brilliant really interesting come they do demonstrations all day long as well so if you do come check that out we're a little bit early at the moment but they may get going before we leave you never know and you walk through a little archway and you come out into this lovely walled garden it's beautiful set out in a symmetrical design fantastic not too many words you can say about this other than just see how beautiful it is. Really, really nice. Colours on these roses are absolutely beautiful. Fantastic. Really nice. There's a little rose in the corner here, look. Hello. <laughs> Not only are they beautiful, but the smell is amazing. Oh, thanks very much, Ken. Oh, 
What's the matter? He dropped shit. Past this little row of artisan shops at the top. You got there, there's a children's play area, so plenty of things to do for the kiddies as well. And there's an art studio around there where they can do a bit of painting. It's plenty for all. Time for a quick pit stop. Cheers. Well, we're just going to have a look at this church now, which is said that there's uh, been standing since at least 1069, if you can believe that. Hard to comprehend. I'd say that would be the original bit, and then you'd guess that the tower is added on. I'm not sure. Ring that subscribe bell. Quite simple on the inside really if you think about it. Beautiful. Nice ornate pulpit. Quite hard to imagine there's been a church here. 1069. Well, that was nice seeing a glimpse inside there. Love the ceiling. Almost like an upside down boat. The usual Kim door. All right, we had a nice little look around the church there and the mansion. 16th century mansion. 1069 for the church. Unbelievable. Right, we're going to walk past the cricket pitch now and make our way down, back down into the village. Just behind me now is the pub, which is called the Drum Inn. Uh, originally opened in 1936, but couldn't sell alcohol because the local magistrate thought it would alter the character of the village. So, <laughs> luckily it does now. It's actually built on the site of an old sawmill. It is a very nice pub. So offshore, they fall and free. Nicely laid out gardens of the pub. Come away from there and we're just gonna walk down into the village now. Another feature of the village is the water mill. Obviously you can see the wheel there, which at the moment, according to that, it's got a stress fracture. But you get the idea. Always interesting seeing old machinery and such like. Up the steps, and this will be the mill pond. Just looks very weedy at the moment, which would have fed the mill. And there's the, if you just see through there, I'll point it out to you. You can see the sluice gate, which they would have opened, and then that would have caused the water to hit the water wheel, turn the water wheel and drive the mechanism that ran the mill. But I'm sure you all knew that. Shrouded by this rather magnificent willow. The old schoolhouse over there, and is now a tea room, one of many. Oh, we ducked down under here. That is the site of Cockington Forge that was. It's been in the same place in this village since around about the 11th century. Right, we're going to leave you there. I hope you enjoyed that little look around Cockington. Let you decide for yourself if it's the prettiest village in Devon. It certainly is pretty, uh, don't you think? Yes. Absolutely stunning. Um, 
does get extremely busy even now we're not really on the high season just yet uh, but it does get very busy so get here early is my tip um, apart from that I quite enjoyed it it's very nice it's very interesting the courts nice the little craft center is good and the gardens are nice so if you fancy something different away from the coast come and check it out if you've liked what you've seen don't forget give us a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one say goodbye Kim goodbye Kim goodbye Kim <laughs>